into a little song that we uh, decided to make. So, uh, first of all, I just wanted to say thanks to everybody for coming out, family and friends. Uh, I also wanted to say thanks in particular to Mike and Andrea's parents as well. Uh, we really appreciate this, you guys supporting Mike and Andrea as well. So, uh, first I'd like to say to Andrea, uh, it is, uh, it's been so easy getting to know you. Uh, I've only known you for a few years, but uh, the first thing I noticed about you is how genuine and, um, and how down to earth you are. And it, not, it was not only easy for me to become friends with her, but also it was so easy to see how she was perfect for Mike. Uh, and so I really couldn't be happier that the two of you got together and actually got married. I'm so happy. I really am. Um, and to Mike, um, I think it's pretty safe to say that you have um, you've always been there for me. Um, we've known each other for 10 years, and you've pretty much been a pro bono psychologist for me. So um, I just wanted to say that during difficult times, you um, it's your humor and your perspective that I really admire as a friend, and I always will. Um, so, but most importantly, given the occasion, uh, to the two of you, both of you, I just wanted to say that I not only admire both of you as, as friends, but also I admire the relationship that the two of you have created. Uh, knowing you as friends, it's so easy to see how the two of you have created an amazing relationship. And I really appreciate your friendship. And so I just wanted... Oh, I need a beer. Right, right. <laughs> so I just wanted to say thank you so much for being such great friends. And um, so congratulations to two very good friends and to their wonderful relationship. Thank you. All right, I want to keep it short and sweet and probably just as sappy at the end of this. So. Um, well, first, I also want to start out by thanking um, the McNallys and the Pritchards for all the love and support that they've given these two and the fact that they've raised such amazing individuals. So, yes. so thank you very much. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, King um, for uh, forbidding Andrea to date Mike. We all know that one for now. Um, I'd also like to thank Yahoo Sports for offering free fantasy football leagues <laughs> so that uh, we might have uh, two uh, very competitive sports fans uh, fall in love with each other while trying to outmaneuver each other on the way around. <laughs> so, um, I just want to tell two quick little stories. Um, number one, um, I don't know if everybody knows, but um, I just uh, had my second kid, a um, uh, beautiful baby boy named Aaron. Aaron Michael um, Gardner, and uh, there's a funny story behind that name. Um, my wife and I, we decided on the name Aaron um, pretty much immediately. We, um, well, actually, we thought we were going to name him like Jaden or something like that, and figured that was ridiculous. So, um, um, so <laughs> we decided on the name of Aaron. We couldn't decide on a middle name, and I was hanging out with Mike one day, and Mike was like, "You should name him Aaron Michael." Why? Because your name is Michael Aaron? He's like, yeah, well, if you do that, then uh, maybe it will be the opposite of me, you know, like, social, and, and, and have a chin, you know? and, and, and I laughed, but then, like, two days later, my, my wife and I were looking at each other, and we were like, Aaron Michael, that sounds really good. So, so even if um, Aaron turns out, you know, to be exactly like Mike, you know, I can't imagine that it would be a bad thing at all. So, so thanks, Mike. And then uh, my second, I just wanted to say, come on, Andrea. Um, uh, we all love you very much, um, and you made such an impact on on Mike's life, and it's it's so obvious. Um, just how much of an amazing person you are. I knew that you were the one for him when he was comfortable around you. And he's not comfortable around everyone. <laughs> I, 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 mean, I mean, I lived with him for seven years and still, I mean, he looks at me sometimes like, you're weird. <laughs> anyway, so, 
So um, I just knew you guys were comfortable, and he, I noticed that Mike was more like himself, like more Mikey Mike than me Mike, you know, so, so um, just seeing that in him, just how happy he was, and it was all because of you, and, um, and, and not only that, but like, Mike isn't the same guy that I knew, he's like Mike to the next level, it's like reaching, reaching his potential that I always knew he had, and like, you know, it was hidden behind this like chubby exterior. <laughs> And, and now it's like, it's so funny because I look at him and, it, and he's like lost all his weight, and he's in shape, and he cooks, and I know it's all because she's better looking than him. <laughs> and then also it's like, he, he has a new job that he like works hard at, and, and like, and he like, he like wants to learn new languages and stuff, and, and I know it's just because she's smarter than him, and that like, and now he's like striving to be better than her at that, you know, which, you know, fat hands, but, but, um, and I just, you, it's all because of you, you're bringing out the best in him, and not only do I love you for that, but I love you guys together, like, like, sometimes couples can be annoying, you know, <laughs> but, but them together just make such a great team, and, you know, I love them together, I think they bring out the best in each other, and to that I want to say cheers, um, to Mike and Andrew. May the, may the wicked smart allow you guys to win every fantasy football league that we're in as you guys just won in life. So, the cheers. So, and and uh, we prepared a little something to embarrass Mike. Um, unfortunately, it's not a full day at that reunion, but we're going to do what we can. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. McNally arrived, and um, it's, uh, it's to the tune of Don McLean's American Pie, and I think I need another note check.